Greetings fellow gamers, today we will be diving into the realm of Dark and Darker and taking a look at all the classes. My aim is to rank these foes in PvP tier list based on their strength, weaknesses and of course fun factor. In this video I will cover only Goblin Cave so because I don't have friends. Ok I'm joking. It is what it is. I played mostly Goblin Caves and Solo Castle, so my experience is kinda limited, I would say. But I played for 16 hours a day last playtest, so I can say at least something useful. At least I think so. First, there will be actually two tier lists, one with starter gear and the second one with some green, blues or purples with average rolls, so let's start it. The Cleric. The big bong drunk boy. For me it goes straight into S tier. Starting weapon is ok, damage is not bad, attack speed is not bad also, I'm looking at you barb. Attack pattern is manageable and of course our belt boy starts with the shield. It's always good to have an opportunity to block hits. Also he can heal himself up and of course provide various buffs such as divine strike, protection and bless. In my opinion it was the most OP class in the last playtest for Goblin Caves, I would say it was Sleeper OP one. My personal record was 40 runs without a single death at all with 2 to 3 kills every game. Why it is? Because of the buffs and heals. So divine strike gives you plus 10 damage, protection is just a free blue pot and of course you have heals, so PvE is not a problem at all. And you can fight multiple times without fear being chunked, so there is always room for a mistake. Bless is also good, but not really much. Skills for Cleric are also not that bad, both Smite and Judgment are really good. I think it more just your personal preference what to run, Smite is for more like good gear and one maybe too short potential and judgment is good against guys that run away from you. But you always can just cheat your weapon and kill a player with your fists because divine strike adds damage to it also, so yeah. There is only 3 cons for cleric, at least for me. He's kinda slow, so people can always opt to run away from you, but again, you can use your fists. The second one, rangers. This 360 players was really annoying in the big rooms with multiple levels, but if you think you can't reach them, just ignore them. And the third con, I think it will hit hard on the release or once players figure out how to play the game, buffs. Cleric is the most hard hitting class without gear and if, if have some mediocre ones, but it only works if you have your buffs. So jump scare barb or rogue can get you no problem and players can just run away from you if you are fully buffed and they can see it. So that's actually my suggestion how to counter clerics in the goblin games. The fighter. And for me it goes into B tier. Fighter is a jack of all trades class I would say. He have sprint plus second wind, so prolonged fights and people that love to run away is not a problem. He have a shield and same as cleric he can block something. Starting weapon is not bad at all, so yeah. Since it's a tier list of starting gear, it goes to B tier, but in geared one it will change drastically. Cause once you get the bow or crossbow it changes like day and night. Even if it's just the white one. But it's just the starter gear, so yeah. Only B tier. Perks are good, I would recommend to run Swift, Counter Attack and Weapon Mastery even with no gear because Goblin Archers drop both sometimes and I'm not talking about Rangers even. So the last one is your personal preference and it's more dependent on your gear. Spider have only con in my opinion, his base stats. He doesn't excel at anything, only 15 of every stat. So not really fast, not really hitting hard, you got the idea. I would prefer one of the stat maxed since I can run, hit faster if I'm rogue or just one shot someone, for example if I'm barb. So it changed once you get gear but you got the idea. They barbarian. <laughs> for me it goes down to C minus F plus tier. Starting weapon have ok damage, 
but the swing time of 1.33 plus swing pattern, oh boy, it's really hard to hit someone. So it's mostly noob stomping class in my opinion, close to cleric, but it is so slow and once you missed, it's really bad for you. It's easy to kite barb, easy to dodge his hits and of course it's easy to block the hits of the starting battle axe. Yes, Barb have the most damage potential without gear at all. Thank you to Axe Specialization, Two Hand Expertise, Berserker and Savage Birds. And of course Rage Skill. But again, try to hit someone with the decks if they are played this game for more than one for maybe two three hours. The good part Barb have fear, so mobs are not a problem and he have fuck ton of HP, 130 if I'm not mistaken in starter gear. Another good part is Francisca axes, they're good even with starter gear, you have only 3 but they did at least something. So the cons are slow, fat and predictable. You got my opinion about slow and predictable but what about fat, is it bad? No shaming, 130 HP right off the bat is really cool, but the healing time will take you ages. But if you want to be effective, you want to move fast from mob to mob, from player to player, since the goblin cave is different from castle for example. There is not enough portals to escape, and there is multiple levels so you need to be fast. You don't have time to use bandages, campfires and pots since you have enormous amount of HP and a really slow interaction speed. I would personally drop or just don't loot bandages at all if I am bare because I have really slow interaction speed again. Meh. But once you get the gear it turns into absolutely smash machine even in goblin caves without pocket cleric and wizard slaves. The Ranger. Oh baby a triple! Oh yeah! For me it goes straight into C tier. Ranger is a tricky one character like the rest of them. It has a bow from the start, so ability to snipe people and mobs. Also, he have a trap, so some sneaky red playstyle things are there. Ranger, in my opinion, is the strongest class in the entire game, even without gear. But the playstyle is not for everyone, especially with a starter bow. In the previous playtest, starting bow was absolutely trash. He was hitting like a wet noodle with it. They changed it in the last one, but it still hits like a wet noodle. Once someone is really close to you, you're pretty much dead. Skills and perks are good, you can heal yourself up, you can free 5 shoot. Also you can use a spear of course, but since it's a starter tier list, yeah, you got that idea. Also you can cheese all the mobs as ranger, no problem. Ranger is excelling at that, but first, why cheese if you can just kill the mob? And the second, if I'm not mistaken, Iron Mace wants to do something about it in the next playtest, so we won't have infinite arrows anymore. And at that point, cheesing will go away, I think, at least we started both. Cons, low damage, no melee weapon from start, everyone hates you. And again, once you have gear, this change a lot, similar to Barb. The rat. We got a fucking rat! Kill him! Oh, sorry, the rogue. For me it goes in the top seat here, and the only problem here is the fucking grey rondel dagger. It's even worse than wet noodle, it just does zero damage. Yes, it's sneaky and the fastest boy in the game in terms of flat stats. Yes, you have invis, you have poison, say hello to play the injuries. Yes, you can beat lock, not really a thing in the goblin cave, but man, starting dagger is absolutely trash. In PvP it's not a big problem because you can always kite with poison and rupture, just drop your starter useless gear, but the mobs... Goblin Cave is different from Castle again. Mob density is really high and mobs are kinda tanky, so it will take you ages to clear some rooms or even your spawn. I want to say more about that class because I love it and I played it second after Cleric, it was really cool experience. But since it started gear tier list, nothing to say more to be honest. Oh yeah, Ranger can too shock you, yeah. The Harry Potter fans. Harry, you are a wizard! Straight to the D tier, slow, fragile, starting gear is absolute trash in terms of both weapon and armor. Kills are still hitting like a truck, but since they nerf the invis, it's really hard to even have a chance to sneak and use it. And the worst part, meditate. 
So, remember when I was telling you about burp and the amount of HP he have? Wizards have the same problem but with spells. Time is limited, you need to be fast. So, as wizard, in the starter year, your only option to be fast is using your spells for PvE and then meditate. Not gonna lie, it's really strange gameplay for me. Maybe I love to be fast, but the gameplay loop of wizard is not for me at all. So, again, slow, fragile, starter gear is absolutely trash, gameplay loop is annoying. Sorry, wizard, but yeah. Then he got an idea. An awful idea. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video and already hit the like and subscribe button. So, doing very strong. It was Bogan. See you next playtest. Yes.